Hey guys, in this video you'll see a demonstration of how Stripe's 3D Secure Payments Supporting Checkout Integration works with a Wix site. Of course, for this your entire store needs to be made with Wix code. The three essential databases will be the Shopping Cart Database, the Invoices Database and the Paid Orders Database. So currently just take a note that currently we have nine invoices in the invoices database. I'll just refresh the page just to be certain so that we know that there are only nine invoices before we begin. Okay, now I'll go ahead and refresh the checkout page to show the products available in my card. I blanked out the URLs because this is a kind of a live site so I don't want to show the URL okay so we have two items in our shopping cart one is a t-shirt which costs 15 USD and it has a quantity one and one is shoes which has a total cost of 54 USD and there are two of them in the shopping cart the total checkout price is 69 and now let's go ahead and enter the shipping details Please note that on your own site, you will only need to enter the shipping details as the payment will be handled on Stripe site after which you will be sent back. So recipient name, YouTube, testing guy. So that we know that the invoice was inserted when we checked on the invoices database. Uh, YouTube street, one, YouTube colony. City, let's say New York. State, let's say let's say California. Of course, New York is not in California, and neither New York is in Canada. But it's the internet. This is my mail. This is my actual mail. Okay, so let's go ahead and proceed to check out. Now I'll remove the black box and you can see that you have been redirected to stripes site with the token hash and here are your items nice t-shirt $15 each shoes $27 each total of 54 quantity 2 okay this is the name of the company on your own stripe account the name will be of your company and now let's go ahead and test the 3d secure so this is the card, test card, which supports 3D Secure. So let's go ahead and test it on that. So, so you can see that the billing address, the country has been automatically located. You don't need to put that in. address line 2 oh shit address line 2 city pin let's say this and state all right pay all right this is the 3d secure prompt now in the live environment this will be an actual bank page where you have to where the user will have to confirm the payment via password for visa, verified for visa or mastercard secure code so right now i'm just going to authorize the test payment and there you go i've been sent back to the page to the site with a success message now let's go ahead and see if the invoice was inserted and the orders full processed now the invoice I inserted via a webhook so I catch a web I have a script on the back end of my site which catches a webhook and then processes and fulfills the order so there you are invoices 10 there were three items in the shopping cart now it's only two because they have been moved to paid orders let's go ahead and verify the invoice so I have the invoice number which is serial wise generated uh, which is generated serial wise the event ID the user ID which comes from the site itself the total which is 69 you always have to divide the total by 100 in this case 
the payment intent ID which I used to get the address details, shipping address details which the person had entered on my site prior to leaving for Stripe's page, Stripe's checkout page. So there is it. YouTube Street 1, we entered YouTube Colony, New York, California, and we entered Canada, currency USD, and this is the customer ID, YouTube testing guy, and the email. So this is how 3D Secure works with Wix code.